Hello everyone, welcome to Rockstar Gaming. My name is Eric. Today we are going to be opening up a new Kickstarter that just arrived at my house. It's a very small Kickstarter, essentially. It's not something big and grandiose, but it is one that I was excited for, for a game that I have been playing for a very long time. And my Kickstarter showed up in this envelope right here. So we are going to open up the envelope and take a look and see what is inside now uh we are also going to make sure that everything is okay in this envelope not because the game came in an envelope per se but because i live in florida and this was this arrived during the half hour summer monsoon that happens daily in the area of florida that i live in basically every day around three four o'clock in the afternoon we get torrential downpours and if you are expecting a package they basically will get wet if your UPS or FedEx or Amazon driver doesn't put them away in a spot that's not going to get hit by water. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up and take a look at what's inside. Now I do know what's in here. This is a bunch of stuff from Steve Jackson Games. Uh, this is from their recent Munchkin, I'm trying to find it right here, recent Munchkin, which is Kickstarter that uh, was going on. But I got a few other things, I got Munchkin Cows right there, I got Munchkin Druids right there, I got Munchkin Squids, I know I got some other stuff in here from older things. This is the promo pack from Munchkin Witches. And then I got a few, one other thing that was mine. This is from Star Munchkin, so not necessarily gonna show that off, because that's just the board from Star Munchkin. I don't know why it just comes like that and not into any kind of box, but that is everything that is in this particular uh, Kickstarter. So since the thing was called Munchkin Witches, we'll go ahead and open that first and take a glance, gander, I was gonna say glance and gander at the same time, Take a look at the cards that, some of the cards that come through here. Don't want to show all the cards because, you know, there's that. Now this has, oh, so this is Munchkin Witches. This is what the cover of it looks like right there. Some very nice artwork by Lynn Peralta right there. And the back of it, evil witches are everywhere, souring your milk, corrupting your Files sailing across the moon with a cackling laugh. What can you do? What you always do, kill them and take their stuff. Here are 30 witchy monsters, items, and curses to spook up your game. This expansion works with any Munchkin set, but if you want the witches to be a more... Uh, if you want witches to be more central in your game, shuffle it into Munchkin Pathfinder and let the players be witches too. So, I do not own Munchkin Pathfinder, though I do like the Pathfinder role-playing system. I've played 1st edition, never played 2nd edition, but I actually do not own uh, the Munchkin version of Pathfinder. I own way too many other Munchkin versions, but I don't own the Pathfinder one. So, let's go ahead and try not to cut myself. And, whoop, there we go. So, we have the cards are going to be using the standard Munchkin back that they have had for, like, what, 15 plus years now at this point. And there are what the doors look like on the back side there. We'll go ahead and look at some doors. Um, let's see. We've got the first card on here is a level 15 Witchfinder General. Plus five against wizards and witches. Can be added to a combat with a monster that has a W in its name, will not pursue level two or below. So there's an example of the artwork there on that one. We'll take a look at one other card. Um, let's see, um, Ubiquitous Black Cat, Snitch Witch, Glitch Witch, Spelling B, um, All Out War Lock right there. That's another monster, big monster right there. Plus five against warriors. Will not pursue anyone of level four or below. Bad stuff. Lose two levels right there. So I may have to get myself some uh, Munchkin Pathfinder to throw some of this in there. But we'll uh, take a look. What's, uh, we got Bewitch, plus ten to monster. Negative five to monster. Melting. Curse. Uh, witch Itch. If you have any armor, lose a level instead. Lose an armor right there. 
and then spelling error lose a level again right there so pretty interesting cards right there and then as far as the weapons go let's go we've got the vroom stick right here that's plus two to run away one uh is that hand yeah one hand 200 gold pieces right there um the sweep o manic which is a plus three bonus sweep manic 2000 plus three bonus one hand 300 gold pieces uh, the Broomerang, we've got X spell, play during any combat to remove yourself or any one monster from the fight. However, if a monster is removed, it takes its levels and treasure with it. So, and then a couple of go up level cards. And then the Witch Watch, plus one bonus. If you are losing a fight in which you looked for trouble, you may discard this card to discard the monster and all the cards played in that combat. The fight is over, loot the room instead. So those are some examples of the cards that come with Munchkin Witches. Let's see, uh, I don't see any uh, anything in this little leaflet as to any additional rules, kind of like with the um, undead rules where you can you know not have to play wandering monsters and stuff like that on them. Um, uh, shark cards, all that kind of stuff, um, different different game sets. But those are going to be the 30 main cards. Now this Kickstarter also had the promo pack right here, plus three bonus unusable by wizards only in a familiar. So that's that card right there. Let's go ahead and open up the promo pack, because I know this was one of the main draws for getting it through Kickstarter. So let's see, we've got the Witch Witch, uh, play during any combat, plus three to either side, usable only once, it's a treasure right there. And then Witch Slap, um, used broom, plus one to run away, it's foot gear, apparently you surf on it. Level nine, roller broom fighting team. Don't call them witches. Uh, they snitch on you. Sh uh, bad stuff. They snitch on you. Show your hand. Discard all classes you are holding on to three treasures. So there is that card right there. Anything else I want to show off? Got the wildly obno mildly obnoxious witch, the wicked witch, which is three, witch doctor, the wicked witch of the Midwest. Level 12. Any player may add one monster, add level one monsters to this combat without a wandering monster card so there you go bad stuff let's see unless you have a hireling to protect you you are dead so there are the promo cards for this set now the other three games that we have here munchkin squids munchkin cows and munchkin druids are three other uh expansions to the game that were offered during the Kickstarter. Um, Munchkin Squids, Munchkin Chows, both of which have uh, first edition, first printing dates of April 2023, so they are newer. Um, even Munchkin Druids, a first edition, first printing published February 2023 on the back. So these are all newer products that came out this year, and since we never covered them on the channel, we're going to go ahead and look at them right now, because why not? Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to look at Munchkin Squids first, because I'm pretty sure on the Kickstarter page that was like the first one they mentioned with adding on. There were a couple different pledge levels you can add on to the game, not just getting Munchkin Witches. Um, one of the smaller levels, I think it was like the 20 maybe $30 level was the one that added squids, um, $40 level, I'm pretty sure, added druids in there. Um, cows was added in there. You could have also got Munchkin Light uh, at one of the pledge levels. I didn't do that level because I already had Munchkin Light, um, but I didn't have cows, so I had to add that on uh, separately myself. Um, but anyway, so Munchkin Squids, we'll go ahead and take a look at the back of that. Squids are supposed to be spineless, right? Then why are so many of them trying to kill you in this dungeon? Tentacles and suckers and everywhere are everywhere everything is covered in slime and even the food is attacking grab your cuddle bone put on your nautilus shelm and make sure to deliver some sorely needed squid pro quo grab munchkin squids with all eight of your arms before it jets away so there is that we're gonna look at the rule book book first um so tentacles what makes a squid a squid is an octopus a squid do i look good 
in this shirt? These are all questions that have plagued Munchkin kind for eternity. The answer is that the ancient Munchkin forge master could not spell cephalopod, so they just wrote tentacles instead. Taxidermists and elder gods may argue this point, but until they do, if it has tentacles, it's a squid. So there is that. So basically, it's just letting you know what a squid is. So if I guess the means if you are, well, we'll take a look at it here because I'm sure there's going to be monsters in here that utilize um, uh, the, the tentacles keyword or is what I'm looking for. That's what I'm reading on um, right there. Munchkin, ha if you never played Munchkin before, Munchkin has keywords. Whoop. The main game, I think the key main keyword is undead. Um, but they'll have a keyword that has a uh, rule that affects all of those um, types of monsters or abilities um, that are in the rules that are not necessarily going to be written on the card because then they just have too much stuff on the card. And some of them have, have multiple keywords. Um, like I think in Munchkin Pirates, there's undead and then there's sharks in there. Um, so they cover both things. And usually the thing with the keyword is that if multiple things have that keyword, you can throw in more... Um, uh, more things of that kind without necessarily using a wandering monster. At least that's how the rules have always been. That's how I've always played it. So uh, anyway, we're going to look at the items here again using the classic munchkin backs on the back of the card. So as far as items go, we've got the Moctopus used during any combat, plus three to either side, usable only once, one shot item, 40 gold. His is right there. He's so cute. And then let's see, we've got Squid Ink used during a combat, plus three to the monster side, or an automatic escape from the Munchkins, usable only once. We got the Squid Be Gone right there, plus two Cuttlefish uh, armor, 300 gold pieces, plus two Cuddle Bone, one hand. Who is this art by, by the way? Didn't say that. Uh, illustrated by Lar de Suiza. Developed by Devin Lewis. So sorry about names. Um, which is, I didn't say it before, was developed by Will Schoonover. And as I said, illustrated by Lynn Peralta. So there is that. And then we've got the Soctopus, negative run to run away, but you get a plus three bonus on that. Plus three bonus on the Nautil Nautilus Shelm, which is headgear right there. Basically, a shell on top of your head right there uh sword of slaying only squid it gives it uh gives its bonus only to at least one monster and the uh, only if i can't read today gives its bonus only if at least one monster in the combat has tentacles so there is that and then escape captivity uh feel like that's a Dory reference, uh, go up a level. So we've got just squidding right here. Play this card along with a tentacled monster to replace any monster in a fight. Discard the replaced monster. Squid pro quo. Squid pro quo. Play this card immediately. Any player may give one other player a squid or octopus monster to take any face-up card from that player. Face-up cards must remain in play. So there's that. Plus 10 to monster, uh, level one, Calamari. It's Calamari with, uh, I think, uh, spikes, I'm assuming. There's that. Um, let's see, we've got the Roctopus, the Octopodes, the Slash Himmy, Hooked Squid, Octogram. So basically we're not going with keywords. Basically if all these monsters have various tentacles, even the Shocktopus with his electric tentacles, he gets an electric personality plus three against anyone wearing armor, bad stuff, zap, lose any hand items you have equipped. So there is that, two treasures for that guy. And then the Ghost Squid, which is undead, that does have a keyword at the top as I was talking about before. Armor doesn't count in this combat. Bad stuff. Ghost tentacles. You lose your class. There you go. Glacial squid. Joctopus. <clears throat> the fire squid. The flocktopus. Plus four against anyone without a helper. Bad stuff. These little suckers. These little suckers. Suckers are everywhere. Lose two levels. The cephalopod people. 
Vampire Squid, Colossal Squid, Bride of Squidzilla, and the Tenta Tentacles. Negative four against Wizards. Will not pursue anyone of level four or below. Bad stuff. He folds you in half eight times. You are dead. So there's some examples of the various squids and tentacles and octopus and everything in Munchkin Squids. This will be fun to put in the game. And if any of you are interested, because why wouldn't you be, um, for us to play anything in uh, Munchkin with adding some of these cards in, one of the things I would ask if you are gonna comment down below, which always comment down below, also like the video and subscribe, to the channel, well, let go in there. Um, is in this case for this specific game because there are so many Munchkin cards, tons that I don't even have. Um, I have a lot of the older Munchkin sets. I am collecting a lot of newer sets. Uh, Moops is back there right now. I've never opened it. Um, I was waiting to do it online or on the channel, but um, but uh, if there's any um suggestions of the best other expansion content to add some of these things to let me know down below in the comments because there are so many cards for this game now so many different um so many different expansions core games everything like that and i want to be able to showcase this off i don't necessarily just want to throw these cards into the base game and kind of hope they come through it also like to make sure that anything we put these into um it kind of makes sense thematically so if you can uh let me know that down below that would be great so we got munchkin cows next five, 15 utterly hilarious cards for munchkin munchkin cows developed by andrew hackard an expansion for steve jackson's munchkin illustrated by em mcnitty mcgenty mcgenty no idea uh there is gonna be the cover right there for the game the back cover right there with some words and stuff cows yes cows here's the latest 15 card set of munch monsters and treasures for any munchkin game uh stake your claim to this expansion before it's gone because you'll uh feel sad if you miss it and that's no bull so that's that right there this is an expansion for munchkin this is now a standalone game these cards originally appear these cards originally appeared in Munchkin Unicorns and Friends. Does that say anything? No, 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 no. Nope. These didn't appear anywhere else, did they? Nope. So these cards apparently appeared in Munchkin Unicorns and Friends, which I feel like was another Kickstarter. I don't remember uh, in all honesty. I see a lot of Munchkin, uh, uh, Munchkin Unicorn stuff. when I, go, I think there's a set of it when I go to Barnes & Noble. Maybe I'm thinking of Munchkin Babies. I'm not sure. Um, but these are the cards from that game, apparently, and apparently there's extra cardboard in here because this is a standard size box for them. Come on. Today on Rockshire Gaming, we watch Eric try to get cards out of a box. There we go. All right, Munchkin Cows. I do not see anything on here for additional rules, so we're gonna skip that part. And we're gonna open up the cow-related cards here. As we get the packaging off here. So Munchkin is, I don't know if you've seen, uh, there's another video where I talk about it. Boop. Um, Munchkin is one of those games for me that um, is more of a meaningful game. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, even people that I have introduced the game to didn't care for the game. There's other people I have, it was like the main game we we played for years. Um, but I understand some people's um, uh, reasoning for not being their favorite game. My wife and I, this is one of the first board games, card games, whatever you want to call it, that we started playing after we got married. Um, so that's why it, the, the game for the most part holds, um, uh, a lot for me. We got multiple, multiple of the original sets, um, like Munchkin Bites, Munchkin, hers was, her favorite one was Munchkin Booty, the pirate themed one. We have, uh, the good, the bad, the Munchkin, um, a ton of the stuff, like all the original main expansions for the original game. So, um, yeah, we, we played a lot of Munchkin in our house, then branched off to other 
things eventually, but I'd like to always go back to uh, OG Munchkin. Uh, so anyway, so as far as the items in this one go, we've got the super condensed milk play during any combat, plus three to either side, usable once right there. Uh, let's see, we got the manure spreader. Uh, play this after someone has accepted your help in combat. They must give you one treasure more than the original agreement, but uh, they get to decide which treasure it is usable only once, right? Thar. And then the cows come home. They're bringing a present, go up a level. I don't know why I thought looking at this of heifer and Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life, but I did. Um, so we've got card door cards now for bull fight, cow tipping. If you draw this face up, play it immediately. Otherwise, play it any time of your turn. Uh, all other players get the lowest level players. All other players give the lowest level player one card apiece. Let's see. Curse, hoof and mouth disease, lose your foot gear. Curse, lactose intolerant, some days. Um, you must immediately run away from the next monster you face with cow or bull or cattle in its name and you find when you kick um, in its name that you find when you kick down the door. So, oh, that goes that way. Uh, jerky plus 10 to monster, so we got that. Cow, negative five to monster. Uh, play this during any, so. Apparently turn a monster into a cow. Moo Taint, plus five to monster play during any combat. If this monster is defeated, draw one extra treasure. Uh, level one, Mistake. Ugh. Oh, he's undead too. That's why it looks a little nappy there. Uh, let's see, plus, what does that say? Plus 10 against anyone with a knife or sword equipped. All right, Gargon Zola, right there. Let's see, Rattle Cattle, Dairy Fairy, and level 18 Bullfrog takes double damage from Fire Flame attacks. Bad stuff. Shuffle your treasure cards in play and discard two randomly. Play the rest back on your table. You may change the arrangement as you do so. Uh, so yeah, that is the cards uh, that I'm showing from Munchkin Cows. And then finally... Because again, just haven't covered it on the channel. Um, we are going to take a look at, as soon as I put everything away in these, uh, we are going to look at Munchkin Druids. Not a numbered um, expansion. I don't know why, because I think I had the option to get it. But I didn't get, I think, was it Munchkin 10 now? Uh, and I didn't get the last, I didn't get the last numbered. Uh, expansion through this Kickstarter. I felt like I should just get it through uh, local retailer. But is this able to open in a way that I don't have to take the tape off? Apparently. So this is Munchkin Druids. I'm going to get it. Since I've already committed this course of action, we're going to go ahead and open it like that. Munchkin Druids, developed by Devin Lewis, illustrated by Lar de Souza, based on Steve Jackson's Munchkin, Steve Jackson Games. If a tree falls in the forest, does anyone care? Depends on who it falls on. Munchkin Druids adds 112 cards to the game. The new Druid class, the more nature-related monsters, or and more nature-related monsters and weapons than you can shake a holy stick at. Watch out for the bloodthirsty nightshade and wear, but don't eat, the death cap. So this expansion for Munchkin, not a standalone game. So this is another one of those expansions where I was just kind of worried, depending on what cards are in here, what uh, how to best incorporate it into a big giant game of Munchkin because I don't know if there's going to be other cards sometimes. I know the numbered expansions used to put previous, um, at least one copy of all the previous um, classes from the main expansions and in the main game and the races in the game to kind of uh, help with all the extra cards you're getting. Um, so we'll see if this has it in there, but we'll look at the rules. First, Munchkin Druids. Uh, let's see here. We're going to kind of scan. 
Uh, there's a little bit a bit more about the background, the care and feeding of plant monsters. You'll find quite a few references to plant monsters in this expansion, but you won't find any monsters labeled with the word plant like you will undead or dragon. Instead, this refers to any monster whose name or image would lead you to believe they are in, indeed a plant. Disagreements are to be settled in the old-fashioned munchkin way. So... There's a little bit about all the Munchkin stuff there. There is the obligatory, yeah, 10 right there, time warped. Um, that's the one I did not get yet. Um, but yeah, so there is all of the munchkin -y stuff right there, how to play and everything. So we'll just toss that over there and then gently put it back. Uh, we'll go start going through, they basically have these equally split between doors and other, so. We'll go ahead and, as I knock something over there, there's a card table, just in case anybody cares. Uh, we'll go ahead and get these opened up and take a look at the first couple things. So we've got that death cap they talked about, plus two bonus, not usable by halflings. Headgear, 400 gold pieces. All right, there. And let's see, gator shoes, tree beard. Uh, fairy ring, ring with mushroom on it, never been washed robes, you, no one will help you in combat while you wear these robes, plus two bonus, usable by druids only, uh, blade of grass, it's pretty funny, foot fungus, <laughs> armor trunk, I don't play this game enough anymore, and I always forget about the puns and everything, there's always cards in here that make me laugh, um, let's see, swine handler, ew, that's kind of a yeah that's that's just um plus three bonus usable by druids only poison ivy ca ugh, cap the weed whacker uh hide armor shale uh asparagus spear we'll show that one off do, 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 do. one or two hands uh, or for a plus two or four bonus there massive okay massive massive rack of antlers there's that um, staff of wisdom and then a bunch of go up a level cards there uh, let's see there's an orc an orc uh, okay, that's the that's, that's a race the orc race right there so there's Orc Race, Toadstool, Druid Hireling, Goat Weed, Walking Stick, another Druid. Oh, these are all Steed cards here. So we've got a Race, we've got a bunch of Steeds for, which one, was that Munchkin 5? No, that was Munchkin, that was a Steed one. Oh, the Need for Steed was number 4. Munchkin 5 was deranged. Um, so we've got, as far as Okay, so let's go back on this. So we've got the orc as a race right here. We've got Toadstool as a big steed. We've got the Druid Hireling. That's probably the order they actually go in for our steeds. We've got Goatweed, Walking Stick, another Druid. Um, plus five bonus uh, Stumpy. It's apparently a wooden recliner right there. All right. And then we get to the actual monsters uh level one zotted plant so the potted plant but on fire uh level three chicken of the woods dwarf rabbit flying squirrel so let's kind of just go through because i don't want to show off all the cards necessarily um just kind of glancing for branch manager Douglas, plus three against rangers, bad stuff. He sticks to you. Give at least 500 gold pieces worth of items to the player on your left. There you go. Uh, let's see. You got the rotted plant, level 11. Undead monster, strangling vines, corpse flowers, pine crone, werewolf, who knows, great horned owl, nightshade. Um, there's their wolf. We had the werewolf, and then you have their wolf, and then level 19 dragon, uh, level 19 dragon, dragon fruit, plus five against warriors, bad stuff, freshly squeezed. You are very dead right there. So there is that. Those are all the cards from that side of the box. So we'll go ahead and put these here. 
And then we'll open up the other side that has a bunch more doors and a few more um, treasure cards. So, which is the first treasure card being Bounty of the Forest. Uh, draw three more treasure cards immediately. They are face down. If you drew this card face down, otherwise they are face up. So, uh, a bunch of one-shot items rooted to the spot. Unbearable. Uh, let's see. Loaded die, reloaded die, old family remedy, artichoke hearts. Got a couple wishing rings in here. Uh, Barkenstocks plus one to footwear there. Uh, let's see, and then this is a good one. Four leaf clove, four leaf cleaver, two hands plus four bonus. All right. Um, let's see. Those look like all the treasures, the golden rod. And then we're gonna get to the curses and all the other doors. So we got a cheat card as normal. We got curse the birds, curse the birds and the bees. This card, the headgear and armor. You're wearing, if you weren't wearing one or the other, you have negative five to your next combat. Keep this as a reminder until then. Oh gosh, dubbies. It's pretty funny. So going through the curses. Um, let's see, curse rolling stone. Springs in the air, lose a level. Uh, so then we get to, I'm assuming, no, we still have more things, enhancers to go. So we got the super munchkin, we got a couple wandering munchkin, or wandering munchkins, wandering monsters, some enhancers, bear form plus 10 to monster, bear form, negative 5 to monster, um, invasive species plus 5 to monster, then we've got the bard, cleric, druid, 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 how many druids do we got? So, one, two, three, four, five druids, a ranger, a thief, a warrior, a wizard, a centaur, a dwarf, an elf, a gnome, a halfling, and a lizard guy. Like I said, them adding in uh, cards from the previous Munchkin games, Munchkin expansions, trying to get it to where you'll hopefully see those cards if you basically have all of them blended in together, but you know, only adding one here and there um, isn't really gonna have you see it a lot. So. Like I said, um, please, when you comment, if you comment on this video uh, about what your favorite, if you got the same cards, what your favorite uh, cards were that you got um, from whatever you got from this Kickstarter, uh, let me know. And then also, like I said, anything that you feel like would be would pair well, like a wine tasting, I guess, um, with uh, anything here. And if you want to see... Uh, us play a game of Munchkin on the channel. That'd be cool too. I mean, you know, if not, then you know, whatever. But, uh, but yeah, that is basically everything in this Kickstarter um, that we got. Everything that was from the Kickstarter. So make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, again, trying to reorganize a few things on the channel. So haven't had that many videos come out so lately so but we are working on some different things here and i'm just opening this because i know it's not having like major to do with kickstarter but just in case you're wondering what the thing was at the beginning of the video that's all it was um but yeah that's going to be all for this unboxing of kickstarter stuff we do have a cool other things coming out as well not that this isn't cool this is actually awesome this actually going through this Honestly, makes my wife's on her way home right now from work. Honestly, makes me want to open up uh, all of Munchkin stuff and play a big game uh, this weekend. So we'll have to see how that goes. But anyway, we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.